oh my god too much light um i want to do a get ready for my birthday because today is my birthday <laughs> i look like crap so what i'm going to do take a shower do my hair and then we're filming a makeup look for today spring vibes birthday vibes the whole shebang see you in a bit cool i took a shower i wore some oh i forgot my necklace wore some clothes i'm wearing this today which is a party pants from stieglitz and this is actually my pregnancy blouse i have a body underneath which corrects the shape so that's uh, how I look today. Now I'm going to quickly do my foundation first and my uh, eyebrows. This is something that I don't have to film for you guys because you've already seen it a couple of times. So I just want to show you how I finish my look. Brows are done. I primed my eyes. I powdered my face. So we're going for the final look. Now I need to think where to put this camera I don't know if this is high enough guys oh my god this is perfect okay guys I am going for what kind of look bold eyes with lashes today and uh, a nude shiny lip I think I'm going for that I will contour my face a little bit more with a bronzer so I'm using my studio fix by MAC cosmetics to shave the face and I apply this in the hollows of my cheeks to get a little bit more shape you can already see that the face gets a little bit more definition I also apply it and a little bit on the forehead that's it so now my face has a little bit more definition and more shape. This is the result. Then we're going to finish it with some blush. And for this I will be using my MAC Cosmetics Make You Mine blush. Tap your um, brushes before applying any kind of powder. So, ooh, hair. This is warming up the face. makes you look healthy so yeah i also use my mineral skin finish by mac cosmetics gold deposit just to give it a little bit more of a shiny it's summer kind of look as if i was on holiday and i went sunbathing yeah this is it okay i will start with the mini huda palette in warm brown obsessions and for this i will use a transition color and i will use this one over here it doesn't have a name so it is this one over here oh my god it is this one over here you can see myself twice which is scary i'm using an angled uh blending brush and basically i apply the powder into the crease of my eye it's so hard for me to speak and do my makeup by the way but i thought i thought it was time to film one again and a birthday look is a great reason to film a makeup look Huda Beauty, you can. This is really a nice little palette. You can take it when while you're traveling. I love warm tones. I will use my Juvia's Magic palette. Tempted to go with the blue tones in this palette, but I think I need to have a little bit more definition. I need to have more of a transition color before applying anything else. So I will go for the color Nana. And then it's also easier to blend other colors on top. <clears throat> 
There you go. Next color that I will take is the color, I don't know how to pronounce this. Jayide, Jayide, this one over here. And I will work around the crease. I put a little bit of color. And I'm really, I'm dragging it all the way to the outer part of my eye. I'm blending. And we also apply this to the under, under eye with a tiny little brush, flat brush. And drag it all the way. Down the eye. Oh, it needs more blending. So please go ahead, take a blending brush and start blending. Taking a tiny mirror is easier. And we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other eye. Then we're going to intensify the color blue with the color even. And this is only something we apply in the crease. For this, I will use a crease brush. You see what is happening? You see what is happening? It creates like even more dimension. I will also use my angled blending brush a little bit to blend it out more. But also to create more depth. See how the process is going. Nice. So then what we will do is add some sparkle and we will do that where the eyelids are still a little bit of blank. But before doing that, I will apply a little bit more, a little bit of concealer so that the glitter literally sticks on top. I don't know if it's really working, but I don't want to use my concealer that I use every day. I'm using a Kiko concealer, which is the skin tone concealer um, in color 7. And I literally apply this on the eyelids. Okay, it looks a little bit scary. Just use your finger to, to tone it down a little bit. I will use Aya. And I'm using my finger for this. And I'm gonna use a brush. I think with a finger we can apply this even better. And you cannot really see the glitter, so maybe I need to do a little bit more. But you can, you do see the gradient that I tried to do. Then in the middle of the eyelids, I will do a little bit of a highlight. And for this, I will use a lighter shimmery color and I use the color, I think I will go for Faso. And for this, I'm also using my finger. Let's add Jamoya. 
hint of extra highlight in the middle of the eyelid. There you go. We need to conceal a little bit because I went a little bit too far over here. So we will conceal and shape the form of the eye better. Show you guys. I already concealed this side and now I'm going to conceal the other one. I hope it's even. You know what? Yeah, all concealed. This is the eye. What do you think? Smoky, isn't it? Okay, so eyes are done. We need to start applying lashes and for this I need to think what lashes I will apply Primark lashes six euros these are the ones I will use I don't know what, ooh, what the name is Milan I guess I already used them a couple of times and they're really pretty I'm making this dry a little okay guys wish me luck this is always challenge to be fair and the thing is that I'm always tempted to apply the lash in the middle first this is how I get it as like as close as possible to my lash line yeah it's on the glue To put extra glue. Oh. So now we're going to do a little bit of mascara and the bottom lashes just to make it even like more even. For this, I will do use the 3D Extra Dimension Mascara by MAC Cosmetics. What we forgot to do is to highlight the inner corner. And for this, I will use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezi highlighter, which is so beautiful. I will use my finger and put it in the inner corner of the eye. And also a little bit on the top of the brow okay. do the same thing here it is crazy pigmented then we will we will also put highlighter on the face and we will do that at the top part of the cheek and for this we will use the same Highlighter we used for the inner corner. Shining, 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 shining. Do a little bit on the brow bone. Then on the tip of the nose, so we did brow bones, tip of the nose. And for me, it really needs to do the tip of the nose. Otherwise my nose will turn out to be really big. Then on top of Cupid's bow. Then we will do a new lip. I will use a MAC Cosmetics lip, which is a matte lip in the color Persistence. Must have. Shit. Then then to create a little bit more dimension for the lip, I will use single from Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty. I I really love like the consistency of this matte Moselle lipstick, and I apply this because this is a little bit lighter. I apply it in the middle part of the lips. 
if you want extra blending use your finger wow this this is a look guys then on top i will use my 3d kiko uh hydra what is it do you need 3d hydra lip gloss and put a little bit on top in the middle so this concludes the look don't forget to use setting spray makeup revolution pro fix oil control fixing spray to make sure that it is and it will stay wave and this is my birthday look for today